Hello everyone and welcome back. Today what we are doing is killing slugs. I am feeling very exhausted so I'm going to mostly be waving the camera at my assistant today I think. But enjoy. Now the first thing we are doing is we're moving membrane so we can apply nematodes. We have just actually disturbed two baby slow worms around here. So anywhere there's a membrane, like up here, can you remove them? I'm, now the main area of the paths are pretty rock solid so I'm not going to take those up but I will be taking the ones around the fruit bushes and any slugs or snails I find I'm going to pop in a pot. You want this one take it up? Not the big one no. You can fold it back a little bit but this area is rock solid. While he's doing that I'm going to check my nematodes because they were in the post a few too many days longer than I would have liked and I emailed them about it and they said you can tell if they've died because there will be a terrible stench. These are the nematodes. I have slug ones and I also have a general grow your own. And I'm going to open them and I'm probably going to water them in at the same time. I've not seen anything that says you can't do that. They've been in the fridge since they arrived, but they did take a few too many days in the post. Um, used before the 27th, that's very important. Exactly the same date. I'm just going to take them off and sniff. Um, they smell a bit funky. I wouldn't say it's a terrible stench, but uh, and this is the. These seem fine. Now, I'm probably going to use them anyway, but they don't smell right. They smell a bit like rotting eggs. Mm -hmm. That's all I balled up. And what you do with them, you put them in a stock solution. John, will you come and sniff these for me? Hello? Will you come and sniff? Uh, it's a little bit of a smell, I wouldn't say it's awful. That's what I mean, it depends what they mean. But that doesn't smell the same as what I've smelled before, because normally they don't smell of anything. Okay. Well, if we use them anyway, and I'll get onto the company and see what they say, they said they would send more out if they were dead. Stench is such a personal thing though. Mm hmm. So I need the washing can. I'm just going to go get some water. But I don't. I don't think they've made it. But it depends because I have a very strong tolerance for farmyard smells. Okay. So we have these, and we put that in there. So ten. Yeah, I'm gonna tip some out. I'm going to put all this in and give it a stir. Purely because this is what I have as a 10 litre container. Oh, I need a stick. Sorry if it's shaking, my hands are not behaving themselves today at all. Oh, that looks like a complete mess. 
but nonetheless, that's what we have. So, I have slightly changed my mind. I'm going to put the stock solution in that bucket. It should be 40 litres and doesn't have any holes in. That's what I was just checking. And then we have two watering cans in operation. Oh. Now, with nematodes, you want to do it on a cloudy overcast day because the sun will kill them. And also, the total temperature needs to be at least 5 degrees. Now, we are going to have... Can you go and refill that? We are going to have a period of frost. But that's not going to be the soil temperature. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover the beds up once they've been watered. No, 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 just leave it there. So you put, I think it says half a litre. This is a litre. <laughs> I need to check the packet. It's been, a, it's been a year since I did it, so. Half a litre of the stock solution to a five litre watering can. So, <laughs> a litre to a ten litre watering can. Okay. Can you tip some of that out, please? No. <sighs> Why did you just water a weed? Because yeah. the oil needs to be moist anyway, so we just want 10 litres. So if I do this... And I do this... So that's two buckets and so that's a tenth of the solution and for that we need to divide the plot up into Second. probably eight. Okay. So, One, two. so four on that side, four on this side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Because then we've got two spare, one for the greenhouse, one for the house. <laughs> Can I go for first? Now what we've done at home is we have drilled, it's not that again, really don't do very well with this to the when I'm tired. So we have drilled. slightly big holes in the rose head to allow it not to clog. Now only one of these, and we'll see if it works. Let's start on the back border. One. Paying particular attention to the beds.
and then so one I'll do one round the tree, one there, and then one there, and then with the other part of the greenhouse. Do you want pallets and all that junk moved, yeah? Huh? Do you want the pallets and all that stuff moved? Yeah, because the more ground space we've got. one out here I'm just going to go back over these couple of beds because I think the stock solution was a little bit weak at the top bucket for the greenhouse and some residual slot solution which I'm taking to do the front garden at home tonight. I'm going to just leave that right there. I'm going to leave that there so we know and I'll get back to you when we've cleared the greenhouse. So we have watered it all in and we're just going to put the loose membrane back on the beds for the moment and then next time we come down we'll put it back where it's supposed to we're both a bit tired we've also and by we I mean mostly my assistant has cleared the greenhouse and then we've nematoded it and there's some slug pellets wildlife safe ones down so it'll be a little easier to put plants in here now we've got a good few weeks before we need to start planting things in the ground so uh, it's supposed to be a frost tomorrow night. That's what all that is there. I think that's everything. Uh, just the house stuff to do. 